Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the daily read for Monday the 3rd of June 2019 and this is for all signs. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So cards, what do we have for Monday the 3rd of June 2019 for all signs? What's the message? So I've changed rooms, changed tables, so new tablecloth. <laughs> What's the message cards? Okay, let's take both of those. Okay, we have transformation, beautiful. This is the phoenix. Transformation, rising from the ashes. Brighter than ever before, yeah. Burning brighter than ever before. And angel assistance. Okay, let me read this out to you. So let's look at angel assistance first. So this is divine intervention. Ask and you shall receive. It might well be divine energy is assisting you in your transformation, in manifesting change, positive change. Beautiful, very powerful. This is the comeback. This is the card of the comeback, but stronger than ever before because there's deeper learnings to be had so this emotional freedom brings growth and positive change the phoenix much like the caterpillar transforms into new life after experiencing the end of an earth cycle just as the phoenix rises from the ashes what you have perceived to be negative to be a negative outcome is actually filled with positivity now is the time for rebirth and rejuvenation. Beautiful energies there. The sacred firebird is a conscious creator, choosing to accept inevitabilities and using them to produce positive experiences. Okay. Beautiful energies there. So, Cards, what do we have for Monday the 3rd of June 2019? There's too many there. So for Monday the 3rd of June 2019, what's the message for today, please? What's the message for today? This is for Monday the 3rd of June for all signs. For all signs, cards. What's the message for today, please? Okay. Card of Leo, strength. Okay. Let's take those. Card of Virgo, the hermit. My goodness. <laughs> Look at this. How wonderful is that, hey? The magician. Okay, this is the Empress. I mean, this is my four major arcana. This is four major arcana. This is big change. Okay. What else do we have, guys? What else do we have? Queen of Swords. Libra energy, air energy. And we have justice. Justice, okay. Let me just clarify that Queen of Swords. Okay, one card fell out. We have death. Okay, and the bottom of the deck, King of Swords, Leo energy again. Okay, but this is a general reading for all signs. It's just some of the cards. I mean, this is Virgo energy, this is Libra energy, this is a card of Venus in Taurus, this is a Libra energy as well. So, a lot of uh, 
and this is also Mercury. So let's um, let's look. I mean, there's some transformation going on here. Transformative times. So let's look at these cards. So we have the card of Leo, card of Taurus. Talks about grounding yourself first and foremost. Foremost, the Empress energy is card of Venus, card of possibility, and um, beautiful. Uh, open possibility to, for change, positive change. She is the beginnings of something new. She is very much about creation. And what is the creation? You see, this is how the... the I, I will go into it in a minute, but the way that these cards have come out is absolutely beautiful. This is very much about that inner strength, that inner knowing that inner kind of like power surging within you, overcoming obstacles within you, overcoming limitations within you, to bring about positive change. This is getting real courage, real strength to push forward. Card of Leo is fire energy. So a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work. But this is definitely an energy that doesn't want to give up on something. This is an energy that will see something through to a successful conclusion if you have strength, if you have courage. So the message is certainly be courageous right now. Be courageous with yourself, your decision making. Don't allow those demons, negative demons to conquer your inner world. This is about you bringing that power back. This is about you recognizing that sense of self. This is you recognizing how strong you are, you are. When your back is up against the wall, this is somebody who would come out fighting. This is somebody who will slowly but surely, with complete conviction and dedication, conquer their demons. It might have taken a while, but this is showing that you're getting there. Now, it can also talk about needing strength in your external world. It's generally an internal journey, the strength card. But it can well be that, you know, because you have that power from within, this is rising power within you. This is almost kind of like making you more confident in your external world, dealing with difficult people, maybe, or challenges that you might face. So really powerful energy. And what this does is when you find that strength, Venus, the card of the planet of, of almost kind of like possibility, is it, it is a planet of love. So some of you getting back on track, being open to love again, potentially. But the Empress card, again, that creation energy, the beginnings of creating something new could be moving to the next level in a, in a relationship, having the strength to do that having the courage to let the past be the past. Some of you may well have been on that walk in that middle ground and now you're taken aside, now you're committing to something maybe. Now, it might well be that, you know, there's a Leo and a Taurus here. The Empress is also about earthly, that kind of earthly success, the promise of earthly success. But I think it takes power, it takes dedication to bring that about. And I think some of you, this is about the beginnings of new jobs, new careers, the beginnings about new love romance, maybe, for some of you. But this is saying, whatever it is, look, you're going to reap the harvest long term. She is the seed, she is the creation. And creation is having that ability, having that sense of self to start something in your life to manufacture something real so again it might well be having the courage to the conviction to dedicate yourself it could even be hard work that strength that courage to make a change a real change in your life now the beginnings of something new and whatever you're beginning it promises to be abundant she has the right soil she has the right temperature she tends tends her little part of paradise. Again, she is, she wants your wishes and dreams to come true. She's not necessarily the wish fulfillment card, but she's saying there's promise here. There's promise of change, of positive change, the beginnings of something that could really start being abundant. So beautiful energies here. I think they were that then. <laughs> 
you know, I get so absorbed in the cards, I sometimes forget which way around, which way around they went. So, okay. Actually, before I um, before I I go to to this, I just want to talk about these two cards. Card of Virgo, card of Mercury. Mercury rules the Hermit energy, the Virgo energy. So beautiful energies here, and I do want to talk about this because. They're both related for that reason. So the hermit is that inner journey. Now, like I said, taking you know that strength to conquer your demons from within. You conquer your demons through understanding, through inner wisdoms, through inner knowledge almost. That that kind of like knowledgeable wisdom, communication within you, allowing you to bring you to a point of acceptance and understanding within in order to release things that might have held you back. This can be a card of soul searching for answers from within. This is where you just try and find that path forward in almost to kind of like see that light at the end of the tunnel to release the situation. So this is a beautiful internal communicative journey that Mercury fills you with. And it is those kind of like through this ideas, wisdoms, all of that kind of thing happens with the hermit energy, making sound judgments too, healing from the past where you need to heal. Now here's the beautiful thing, the magician. As you see the light at the end of the tunnel, the magician, you see the gold, you see all the gold here, the magician's waiting for you because the magician is that light at the end of the tunnel. He is that promise of suddenly that journey brings you to a state of realising that you can change your life for the better. Again, what did we say about this transformation process here? It says all the negative experiences that you've had to deal with, that you've needed courage to deal with, this is you being able to turn them into a positive outcome in your real world. And that's exactly what these two cards are bringing those negative negativities that probably held you down for a time, but bringing that abundance in the beginnings of a wonderful, abundant journey. And the magician is that realisation that suddenly you have the skills, the experience, the knowledge, and also that divine energy. For those of you who are spiritual, this is the magician raises his right hand almost to conduct the, the divine energy to bring it down to his level, divine energy touching him in order so he can conduct that magic. And it's beautiful. This is the star card as well. This links to the star. So again, it is very much about understanding where you're going, understanding what you want, to, what transformation you want to happen in your life and being able to achieve it. So I love those two energies accordingly because they complement each other perfectly because they're so mercurial. But the magician is <clears throat> making it happen. He is that kind of like bridge almost, that bridge of magic, that almost kind of like the wand of magic to suddenly make you realise that you can change things for the better. Now certainly the hermit energy will allow you to accept truths, finding answers from within, having ideas, making sound judgments. The death card appears. This is a Scorpio card. It's also ruled by Pluto. So you're healing from a time of where you have been. You see, this is so beautiful because you're healing from a time where Pluto very much represents death, destruction, rebirth, that type of thing, big energies but positive transformation, real positive transformation. And because of this, this is almost kind of like you finding those answers and allowing yourself to let something go. There's a realization within you with that magic that you can push boundaries, that you can change your life for the better, that you are more powerful than you think, that you're actually not on the world on your own because this is the divine energy with you, very much with the magician card. So it is about letting go old beliefs, old restrictions, old mental blocks that might have held you back in the past. And <laughs> card of Libra. Now we have two cards of Libra side by side. 
some kind of earthly justice is going to happen. And certainly for some of you, I think some of you are going to get some kind of truths, wrongs being righted. Maybe some injustices may well come to the surface as well. Obviously not all today, could be a few days, it might well be even more longer. But there is some kind of like karmic justice associated or earthly justice associated with these two cards here. She's also very much about the truth of the situation, about not allowing emotions to, to cloud her judgment. You see the blue sky, this is her mind. And again, conquering your mind is very much associated with that Leo energy here with the strength card. So seeing truth now, understanding what needs to be done, what action needs to be taken, maybe decisions as well associated with that, or some communication that you need to make, some conversation that you need to have. But it says, I mean, both of these swords of justice, you see, both point to the heavens. This is the victory pose. So it says there's some victory to be had if, you know, you you need to get to the truth of the situation or there's been something that you might have needed to heal from in the past. This is you understanding how to move forward. This is you understanding what your next action is, where you're going, practically in your world. Yeah. Because you've been released. You see, that sword comes down and you cut away anything that you don't need anymore. It's following your true path as well. And this says how, how strong, how successful you can be when you have that clear mind, when you don't allow that emotion to cloud your thoughts. So powerful energies there, very powerful energies. Justice card can be about doing the right thing doing the right thing by you. Again, some of you may well be transforming, transforming after a period of justice. Some of you may well be starting over, creating something new, creating a new life for yourself, creating, going for a new job, going for a new relationship. Suddenly feel like you're ready to transform your life again in a real positive way with that wand of magic. And this is doing the right thing and um, making the right decision, doing the right thing by you, maybe by other people as well. So if it's not justice, which can involve legal systems, that type of thing, if you're waiting on an outcome, some of you will do very well in terms of the outcome that justice will bring. Obviously, it doesn't resonate with everybody. <clears throat> but similarly, this is kind of an earthly justice as well. In a way, <clears throat> again, sorry, my voice is going... <clears throat> This is saying truth is on your side as well. Truth is on your side. Truth will out. The truth will come out sooner or later. It might well be through the legal process. Could be in a career, could be in love, could be in separation, divorce, that type of thing. The Queen of Swords and the Justice card can sometimes mean divorce. But, you know, this is just saying, you know, the, the justice is on your side. There is some victory here to be had. And I think this is just going to allow you to transform your situation. This is you shining bright, you know, burning bright. Burning bright. Shining in that glory. It's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, powerful stuff. And we have, yeah, we have the card of Leo again. So this is somebody who has transformed. This is somebody who has gone through that process. Now this is fire energy and it's funny that this is kind of like a fire bird. So fire energy, again, Leo, but you can say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is you getting that power back. This is you getting that success back. This is the road to success. The magician is almost kind of like that magic wand that magic conductor to really transform your life for the better, maybe after a period of justice, or maybe after a period of wrongs being righted, maybe after a period of release from justice, certainly with that death card. Some of you have seen the back of it once and for all and think never again, you know, but it's released you to be bigger and better and bolder and stronger. 
This King of Wands energy is an opportunist. It says grab hold of opportunities. Now's the time to take action in your life. If there are opportunities, whether it's in business or in, in love even, your passions, desires, grab hold of them because the Empress, that card of beginnings of real abundance, having paradise on earth. Um, so beautiful things, surrounded by beautiful things, beautiful energies. That's the Empress card. Powerful energies, powerful energies. He also is very much about taking the lead in your own life now. Don't think that, you know, whatever this situation is, don't allow, certainly with that justice energy, what I'm feeling, don't allow other people to make you feel less than. This is a time of being centered. It's a time of listening to those inner wisdoms, ideas, making sound judgment calls. Again, mo very sound judgment calls to, to, with, between the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. Sound judgment calls internally, externally as well. Um, in order to really bring about positive change because it's there on offer for you. But I love these cards. I do love this. Transformation. Transformation is at hand, and I think it is that magic wand, you see, he has the conductor here, to almost kind of like bring his hopes, dreams, desires, that mercurial energy into reality, and the king of wands is making it real, which is what I'm saying is, these are all journeys from within, to bring out external success from without, so powerful energies, powerful energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.